everyone, it's Clary here and today I'll be showing you how to set up the simple voice chat mod on your server. Firstly, we have to download the simple voice chat mod. To do this, head to the official download page, which we'll leave in the description. Then head to the files section and filter the version you'd like to install simple voice chat for. Also select the correct loader version. Make sure to click on the latest file and press download. This will start a quick 5 second timer, but when that's done, your file will be generated. You can drag this file onto your desktop for now as it'll make it easier to follow the next few steps. In order to be able to run mods on your computer, you'll have to install the Fabric Client as well. To do so, head to the Fabric Client download page. We'll be leaving that link in the description. Now that the file is downloaded, double click the installer. It will then pop up with this window. All you have to do is make sure the version is set to the latest version and that the create profile option is selected. When that's ready to go, click install. It will then take a couple seconds for the installer to finalize. You'll see a message stating that the installation is complete. It also states that you may need to install the Fabric API mod. This is because some other Fabric mods require Fabric API to be compatible. We'll also leave that link in the description. It's okay to then exit this window. To double check the installation's worked, open up the Minecraft launcher. You'll know it's worked if you see Fabric in the bottom left. If you're on Windows, all you have to do is press the Windows key and the R key to open up the Run dialog window. Enter percentage app data percentage and then press Enter for the Files Explorer window to appear. Open up the .minecraft folder and then look for the Mods folder. If you don't see one here, it's safe to create a new folder and name it mods as it'll work the same. From here, you can just drag the simple voice chat mod into the mods folder and ta-da, it's now installed. You should also drag the Fabric API file here as well. If you're on Mac, simply right click the Finder application and press go to folder. Then make sure the following file destination is entered in the text box. When you press go, you'll just then have to look for the mods folder. Drag the mod in here and ta-da, it's also installed now. The next step is to install the mod on your server. To do this, head to the server.pro website and then open up your VPS server. From there, you can either create a new service or head into the configuration tab of an existing service. I'll be creating a new service and then making sure the type is set to fabric. I'll also be making sure the version is set to the same version as the mod I installed, so it'll be latest. Then press create service. If you're editing an existing service, make sure to save and restart for the changes to take effect. Once that's done, make sure to head into the files section. Open up the mods folder and then drag in the simple voice chat mod we downloaded here earlier as well. You should also drag the fabric API file into here. Afterwards, make sure to restart the service once more for the necessary changes to take effect. Now, if you're on a dedicated server, you'll need to head to the VPS's dashboard and into the firewall tab. In the top right corner, you'll see a section on adding rules. Make sure you leave the top option as all UDP traffic and then in the port section, paste the following port. This is because this is simple voice chat's default port. Without following this step, the voice chat will not work, so make sure you've done this. And if you're on a shared server, there are a few extra steps we have to follow as well. Head to the dashboard of your VPS shared service and copy the third extra port. Afterwards, head into your service itself and head to the files tab and open config. Open the voice chat folder and then voice chat server properties. In the port section, make sure to paste the port we copied from before. Then restart the server once more for the changes to take effect. Once the server is done restarting, copy the host name of the server. Open up your Minecraft launcher and ensure Fabric is selected on the bottom left. Press play and once the game has launched, head to the multiplayer section and paste the host name we copied from before. Press done and then join the server. It'll take a couple seconds to load and then you'll be able to see if the mod is installed if you press V and this menu pops up. In this menu, you can adjust settings like volume, if you'd like to have push to talk enabled or voice detection enabled, and much more. For those who prefer to listen, you can also mute your microphone or disable voice chat entirely. If you'd like to check out more features of this mod, we recommend heading to server.pro and trying it out for yourself. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us in the comments or contact our support. Thank you so much for watching.